All You Need to Know, the Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Good morning and thanks for listening in. This is the All You Need to Know podcast on Bloomberg Quint and I'm Alex Matthew. Today is the 3rd of December. Talks between the government and the thousands of farmers protesting against new agricultural laws seems to have hit a deadlock with the leaders of the protest insisting that the laws need to be scrapped. Both sides are expected to meet again today, but any immediate resolution remains unlikely. Initial talks between several senior ministers and the protesters ended with farmers rejecting the government offer of setting up a panel to look into their demands, according to Federal Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar. Moving on, the Delhi High Court has agreed to hear a public interest litigation challenging three surveillance systems of the central government. The petitions argue that three projects run by the government allow for unbridled collection, processing and storage of huge amounts of personal data pertaining to individuals in violation of the fundamental right to privacy. The petitioners have claimed that the systems allow the government to monitor communications of individuals through mobile phones, fixed-line phones and the internet. In an update on India's divestment plans, Oil Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has said that the government has received three preliminary bids from potential investors looking to buy a controlling stake in Bharat Petroleum Corporation or BPCL. Mining to oil conglomerate Vedanta had, on the 18th of November, confirmed putting in an expression of interest for buying the government's 52.98% stake in BPCL. The other two bidders are said to be global funds, one of them being Apollo Global Management. In other news from India's courts, the Supreme Court yesterday stayed the 4th of March order of the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal asking Fair Trade Regulator Competition Commission of India to again initiate a probe against e-commerce major Flipkart for an alleged misuse of its dominant position. A bench of Chief Justice S.A. Bobade and Justices A.S. Bopanna and V. Ramasubramanian, which was initially of the view to send the matter back to the NCLAT, later stayed the appellate tribunal's decision. Financial creditors to Divan Housing Finance Corporation have voted in favour of a fourth round of bidding, according to two people with direct knowledge of the development. As per the provisions of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, a proposal must be approved by 66% of creditors by value to be approved by the Committee of Creditors. The proposal to initiate a new round of bids received the requisite votes, and now the creditors will be formally writing to the four bidders today to seek fresh bids by the 14th of December. The bidders may choose to submit a fresh bid or continue with the offers they submitted on the 17th of November. In international news, the US House has approved legislation that could lead to Chinese companies, including behemoths like Alibaba and Baidu, getting kicked off US exchanges if Washington regulators aren't allowed to review their financial audits. The legislation easily cleared the Senate in May and won bipartisan support in the House. It will now go to President Donald Trump for his signature. Meanwhile, Australia has said that it won't give ground on a list of Chinese grievances against the government as a growing diplomatic row hurts trade between the two countries. A Chinese diplomat in Canberra last month had handed media outlets a document outlining 14 grievances from Australia meddling in domestic affairs in Hong Kong to calling for a probe into the coronavirus outbreak. In international markets, US stocks ended at another record high, but the upside was limited to just about two-tenths of a percent for the S&P 500 and the Dow. The Nasdaq ended flat. And equities in the Asia-Pacific region have started cautiously, with two of the three early rises heading in different directions and the third flat. And with that, it's over to Hermes Fatakia for the trade setup for the day in India. Morning, Hermes. How are we looking today? 
Good morning to you Alex and to our listeners as well. It was a topsy turvy day for the markets but despite the hiccups during the afternoon session the benchmarks staged a smart recovery to end flat. What did well though was the mid cap index which ended at its highest level since April of 2018. On to specific stocks then and first up is HDFC Life where a unit of Standard Life Aberdeen is looking to sell close to 2.8 crore shares in a block deal as per the term sheet accessed by Bloomberg shares are being offered between 605 to 635 rupees each the lower range representing a 5% discount to Wednesday's closing price the terms also states that there is a lock up on standard life until March the 29th of 2021 which means that standard life cannot carry out any further block deals until that date Speaking of large deals, one such deal took place in Bharti Infratel on Wednesday morning. Data released on the exchanges in the evening revealed that Bharti Airtel's arm Netel Infrastructure has acquired close to 5% stake in Bharti Infratel at an overall consideration of 2882 crore rupees. Bharti Airtel now holds over 41% stake in Bharti Infratel while Netel Infra holds over 18.6% stake. Vipro has won a multi-year contract from payments and commerce solutions provider Verifone. Vipro will develop new features, capabilities and interfaces for Verifone's cloud service offerings, enabling seamless and flexible transaction processing for the company. The size of the contract remains undisclosed. Now watch out for Goodyear as the company will be holding a board meeting on the 7th of December to consider interim dividend for the financial year. The record date for the same has been set as the 15th of December. A Tata Group company that has been making new highs every day is Tata Chemicals. The stock gained over 5.5% on Wednesday after promoter Tata Sons acquired 0.7% stake in the company. The stock ended higher for the 10th straight day, its longest winning streak all the way back to 2002. Now it was a strong response to Burger King's IPO the issue was fully subscribed on the first day of bidding itself now the overall subscription at the close of the first day stood at 3.14 times the institutional portion was subscribed 0.17 times non institutional portion was subscribed 0.7 times while the retail portion was subscribed 15.68 times Some buzzing stocks from Wednesday session and I cannot not talk about the Adani Group companies which have been on a roll recently. As of closing on Wednesday, Adani Enterprises, Adani Transmission and Adani Gas ended at a record high while Adani Ports ended near the highest level in 3 years. Adani Power ended at the highest level since March this year. A stock that has not been doing well of late is CSB Bank. The stock fell another 6% on Wednesday, extending its decline to the fourth straight day. The lender has corrected over 10% during this period and has also closed below its 50-day moving average on Wednesday. And lastly, another stock that ended at a record high on Wednesday is AIA Engineering. The stock gained over 12% on Wednesday, its biggest single-day gain in 7 months. Ahead of the weekly options expiry today there are no stocks that are currently in the FNO ban in terms of positions for today's expiry the highest open interest on the call side remains on the 13500 strike with over 40 lakh shares while that on the put side remains at the 13000 strike with 41 lakh shares early ticks on the SJX nifty show that the index is flat around the mark of 13150 Now do log in to bloombergquint.com for all the market related action in our all you need to know copy and also some stock specific stories to keep you updated ahead of the day's trade with that i wish you a safe day ahead and it's back to you alex thanks armas and as always thank you all for listening in this is alex matthew signing off have a great day i hope you enjoyed listening to all you need to know did you know that you can listen to the show on the ivm podcast app On the IBM podcast app along with this we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus says with Cyrus Brocha as the host, listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta, The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Verma or Shunya One hosted by Shiladitya Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IBM podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.